Welcome back to Take Apart. Let's jump straight to the issue. In today's video I will be changing main board in this Sony RX100 Mark IV. This little beast of the cameras was dropped and since then it's down. It won't turn on. Only signs of life is red LED light next to the battery blinking. It's giving me some kind of code as it blinks 3 long and 7 short times. This code based on my research means issue with the main board. And unfortunately there isn't easy fix for it. So guys buckle up and make sure you subscribe and comment below what issue do you have with your RX100 camera. This camera has a bend next to the viewfinder. You can see this gnarly gap here. It should be easy fix to bend it back once it's open. Let's start with the 5 screws on the bottom of the camera. All the screws are with the Philips head. Once unscrewed, this cover should pop off. Moving on to screws on the left side, two on the right side and last two on the back behind display. Guys, I launched channel membership, so if you wish to join and get shoutouts or just chat, click join button below. Now you can pop off this rear frame. It is weak, so take your time and gently pop it out. These doors flaps will drop, so don't lose them. One is for HDMI port, another one for multi port. Display has its own support plate, held on place with two screws. Gently detach and unplug ribbon cable from main board. Connector has this soft locking mechanism, so just lift and pull ribbon cable out. Here we go. Now you can see internals. It is jam packed inside. So let's start. Remove this black sticker from left bottom. And unplug these two cables. As we need to get out the copper shield in order to access main board. Now here are two screws holding the copper shield on place. Also this locking tab on the bottom and this HDMI cover. Now the copper piece should come off. It is used to transfer heat from main chip and sensor to the display frame. I know strange but more on that later. Now we have a main board with a bunch of connectors and this thermal pad. First, I'll disconnect this one going all the way to the viewfinder. It has a lift locking connector. Next, I will unlock top one and move the sensor up. On the right side is a screw holding the main board on place along with this plastic clip. So unlock and gently lift the board.
this frame will pop out and you have to detach this flexi PCB from side it is glued on now you have access to the rest of the ribbon cables so unlock two bottom ones and disconnect them now move on to the top and under the board is connector just pulling one so no need to unlock anything just simply pull out ribbon cable and lastly gently flip the board and unlock last ribbon connector this one has a little tape securing it so remove tape and unplug sensor ribbon cable so yeah this is the board with the problem i got another one if you're looking for one head into the description below and look for product links This one came without this flexi PCB antenna, so I need to reuse one from old board. Strangely, it is glued on, so simply rip it off the board and tuck it on the new one. Straight it out and done. Now we don't need this old board. Let's go and connect all these ribbon cables to the new board. First will be this largest ribbon cable from camera sensor. But before, let's stick thermal pad on the bottom of the board. It goes only one way. This will help to disappear heat from board. Now make sure the connector is unlocked and carefully connect sensor ribbon cable. and the lock the connector now you have to connect the bottom connector just simply push it in position main board roughly on its place and go ahead with connecting two ribbon connectors on the bottom and lock the connectors do the same to the top connector center the board and plug this ribbon cable this is the second last get USB and HDMI alloy frame and slide it on tackle it down until it fits nicely add HDMI steel cover on top of it Get old or new thermal pad and stick it on the chip. I cut my one from 1.5 mm thick thermal pad. Get copper frame and somehow hide all the ribbon cables behind. And screw this one in. 
You can see that thermal pad is nicely touching copper. I hide two ribbon cables behind this copper frame. Stick covering sticker. Now it's time for second screw on top right side. Nicely put inside cables from speaker and test viewfinder mechanism. Unlock display connector and connect display to the board. I can fit extra layer of thermal pad here between display frame and a copper. This step is not necessary but I like to do extraordinary things. Simply click on display frame and make sure all is on its place. and screw in two screws. I have to cut off this overhanging pad and plug in back buttons and dial. It is simple plug connector. Fit back frame onto camera, again make sure nothing is in the way and press wiggle until it sits on its place. Test viewfinder and flash buttons and start screwing screws around. Lots of you guys are not subscribed, so please do so if this video helped you at least a bit. I'm trying my best to repair all sorts of things, so like and comment as well. Now when all intact, it is time for test. There is no red LED blinking which is a good sign and camera is on. Display working and buttons as well. And boom, just like that camera is back. Sony RX100 Mark IV. See you next time.